Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft episode today. Um, sorry if I sound a bit like quirky and all that this morning. This is my morning voice. Um, even though this is getting recorded at quite possible. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I just logged on and noticed this. It's, it, there's like a barrier here. But I don't know what's going on. I think I might need to re-log or something. And it's, oof, cause my game is really laggy. So I'm just going to re-log. See what, if that'll go away. Which I hope it will. There we go, thank the Lord. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to reason it's kind of something's dragging my computer down here because I've only just turned it on. It should start to get a bit better soon. So, yeah, guys, uh, I'm going to go and show you what I have been working on uh, over the past few days. So, I'm going to need that. Put it in there. Uh, yeah, just make that spawn me. Right, let's go. We're at night time, so we're going to sort out. Uh, I've been breeding cows, as you can see. I've got, I think I've roughly got just over a hundred in here now. Uh, yeah, if you look at that, about 110. As you go down to the edges over there, 150, 110. Yeah, looking at about 100, 110 cows in there. So I will eventually go and kill all them. But this is the hole, uh, which is going to be eventually my new base that I've been working on. So as you can see, there's all this outside area here. Uh, the top. I just want to kill that creeper because I do not feel safe with that. Such good aim for us. Right, front. Die, 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 die. Kill him because I need your bones. And you. Yep, burn up, burn up. I think a feature that they should add into Minecraft for when skeletons burn up like that, because uh, I think it's mechanical as, uh, as an added thing that you have to then defend against, that the skeletons will shoot you with their bows and you know the bows and arrows and their arrows will actually be lit on fire because if you think about it it's an arrow is made out of wood and he's on fire so therefore that means the bow and the arrow would also be on fire so therefore when they shoot you the arrow should be on fire but we've got we do know we can't we can't make the decisions unfortunately but this is the uh, bit that I've dug down um, as you guys last remember it was probably only at that level there, if not a tiny bit higher. Uh, so I dug all the way down to here. I've not done anything down here as yet. Uh, still got this cobblestone like staircase here. But if you come onto this level, uh, I have put a flooring in, and put this nice glass pane. Same as up there, and you know it's going to be the same design all the way down. Uh, but then if you come over here, I've taken it from this bit, which if you look just up there is that bit there where the glass is. Right, so you've got that bit there, and then it goes all the way down on both sides. Dug it all the way in, and I've got myself a tree farm here. Really, really compact uh, tree farm. If you want me to do a tutorial on this, I will do. It's only five by three. That is the mechanism for it there. I will do a tutorial on that if it is requested. Um, and then basically you just place your sapling in there. Uh, activates by a bud switch, causing this to shoot out. All the bone meal, which you know, add, in, add more in. It does use a lot of bone meal, so preferably having a mob or a mob farm or skeleton farm would be good uh, because it does. I've noticed use a lot of bone meal. Um, that was full, and I only got this much from it. But unfortunately, that is just the way with tree farms. Um, so it's either you have a farm or you just do it the normal way. Um, so that's that. And then obviously just have your normal piston wall here. Uh, I've done mine. One, two, three, four. I think mine's five by six. So push all the way to the edge, which is probably about here, uh, which then I can mine all out, simply just using a smart piston, which is a uh, redstone touch and ground when that wall gets over there, activates that redstone, activates it in all them pistons, which then pushes it out. So I need to make this look pretty. Um, as you can see, I started. Uh, I need to try and either build a mob farm, if you guys could link me to a link in the uh, comments below of a really good one uh, that's easy to build, easy to set up and is really really efficient for getting uh, mob you know mob drops then that would be helpful uh, or I need to try and find a skeleton spawner so but I've only ever found one spawner so far on this world and that's a cave spider one and I don't think I can remember where it is I think I took a screenshot but I can't remember so but today guys um, I also want to go and show you the staircase down to the mine um, I've done a design for that and I'm slowly working on building it. I just, you'll probably want to wonder what these are for. Uh, oh, oh, I need them, I don't need to throw them out. These are for the uh, design, so that gives you a bit of a hint as to what's going on. 
but I'm just going to go run down here and eat and then I'll show you guys what I've been working on with the tunnel so far so you come out here run down here and then this is the design I've got so uh, quartz normal smooth quartz blocks with the half slabs like that going all the way down and then in between it's obviously half a block there half a block there so you put a solid block in each so glowstone glowstone melon melon glowstone glowstone melon melon all the way down if you come down you can kind of see it as you're running out. i kind of like that uh and it's fine pick where i'm at here we are and then so you place that one there and that one there i don't really need the iron i've got plenty of it and then once i've finished and got all the way down to the bottom down there which is just down there i'll then eventually start back up at the top on the other side all the way down but it is hard because I don't have any quartz left, uh, that's probably one thing I do need to go do. Now I've got a silk touch pickaxe, because then when I get a fortune pickaxe, hopefully, I can then just get have like a massive stack of it somewhere, like a massive block out there, and just blitz through all of it and get loads. Uh, but the other thing is the melons, they're, they're kind of annoying because they take forever to grow. So that is one of my issues. I've got three melons here, and that's a pumpkin on the end. So and the tree has stayed, it's still there. Take you to my furnace room in my house as well. I've upgraded this a bit. As you can see, this is a hopper array coming from it down into the chest so that I don't have to go upstairs and empty each of the chests individually like I used to have to before. And if I go up here, you can see I've got the mechanism here. So you put your items in here, flick this lever, that does that, and then there's a hopper minecart that takes all the items from there. That minecart that you just saw runs along the top of them hoppers putting items into it and then that dropper there that I can access from here you put coal in there and it's on a clock when the chest minecart that's above us runs across the uh, I put a detector rail that shoots out a few pieces of coal into a hopper into another hopper and then when the minecart when the chest minecart for the coal comes back around then it puts it into the and then runs along the chest that you can just see in the back there there's hoppers on top of them, runs into there, goes down, goes into the furnaces, and but as you can see, so <clears throat> so I guess so yeah, that's that. Then I've still got that in the corner. I've not even actually used it yet. And then I'll take you up this ladder so you can see what I mean. So that's the coal chest. As you'll see, I don't think it's actually got anything in it. No, it's empty at the minute. But that runs here, and there, as you can see, that clock activates. It would shoot coal into there, into there, into the mine cart when it's there. And then runs round, goes over these, uh, uh, goes into these hoppers, sorry, as I think then, uh, which puts it down in them chests. And then this one here is the chest that goes around from down there with your stuff in it. And it puts it into the hoppers and then into the furnaces. Also runs over this detector rail, which activates that clock. So it was a little tricky to figure out how to get the coal into each one of these. Um, but I did manage eventually to try and work out that I could do it this way um, but you know it was a bit of a brain fart at the moment but I managed to sort that one out and then originally I was doing it with hoppers and stuff with uh, it was hopper chest hopper whereas I thought the better way to do it would just be have a hopper minecart which will run all the way around constantly and then come and sit back there obviously when I turn it off and it'll just run around take each of the items out of the hoppers to, and put it down into one hopper here which then runs all the way around, down, and in the chest. As you can see, it works. So, yeah. Waiting for these boots to break. I got these off of a mob. They had Feather Falling 3 and Protection 3, and then I just put them breaking 2 on them, but they are literally about to break. Wow. I actually might want to keep these, so I'm going to put them oh, I'm going to put these in here, and then I can now start wearing my Depth Strider 1 Diamond Boots, which I enchanted. There we go. I want to check uh, check these and try them out and see if they're actually any quicker. It should be because of what it is, but apparently you only really notice a big difference. Or some more. You only really notice a big difference if you get depth drive two or even three. No, yeah, that that is quicker. So much quicker. I can't wait to get depth drive two. It's like walking on normal land. Right, massacre. Die. I need to kill these cows, I need to get food, I need to get leather, I need to go harvest some sugarcane. Probably go on, yeah. Probably might set up a sugarcane farm down in the, uh, down in the cylinder later on today, uh, in this episode. Because what I've got over there isn't quite sufficient enough to 
constantly keep my sugarcane levels up because I have to personally go and harvest it. Whereas if I've got a farm that will do it for me, hopefully then I'll get more uh, sugarcane and it'll be it'll be all fine and dandy. So I'm gonna get killing these cows and I'll get back to you guys when I've built the sugarcane farm. I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. I have finished down here uh, the sugarcane farm and also I've done a few extras. As you can see, this is in the middle, which I'll get to that in a little while. I still haven't done a proper staircase down here, I'm stuck with this still. But yeah, guys, look, here is his. Here's the finished product. So as you can see, I've done the flooring in here now. I've got some lighting in. I've prettied up the back of the tree farm there, removed them logs out, I've used it a little bit. Bones going off there in the background. I've done the ceiling, done these walls here, and this is the sugar fa uh, sugar cane farm. So I am missing a piece of glass. Oh, just made it do that. I am missing a piece of glass from here. I don't know quite where it went to be honest with you. Um, but as you can see, this is working. Uh, I haven't been playing it today. Um, this is just from what was was made yesterday. I haven't been playing uh, playing it today because I've been um, going for a check up at the hospital and stuff like that. So that's the reason why. Um, one thing I do have an issue with is that some of the pieces do end up uh, staying on the dirt so I'm wanting to figure out a way to have a hover mine cat constantly running underneath there but if any pieces are dropped onto the dirt it will pick them up and put them in uh, the hopper that's just there and then in this chest but that's kind of tricky the way I want to do it because of the way that this is laid out. Hopefully I should get that sorted and then if you come over to the other side here again same design for the walls. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep it symmetrical and universal on both sides so I had to do something like that rather than the designs I've got there where they're like too thick because then it would have made that wall three thick and it would have been further into the uh, like into the side which I didn't want I didn't want it to be I wanted it to be quite close so and then over here as you can see we have uh, mini charcoal creators little farms so Basically what what you do is you get your wood, set the 32 out, put that up there, 32 out, put that up there, uh, 32 out, put that up there. Then that filters down into this furnace, creates charcoal, and you can see it's all filtering in here now. And when it creates charcoal, you see it goes down and then comes back into here. So that's at eight, now it goes to nine. What it does is goes down here, right? It goes down to that hop below because this one, that hop at the bottom isn't powered, so a hop will always suck before it takes something across. So it does that, it then checks, puts it into this dispenser that's beneath this half slab here, which is just there. And once it's done that, it then fires it up into here, into here, and then across into this uh, furnace. When this gets to 64, it puts one into there, and then all the remaining ones will then. This means that this comparator at the bottom here will then be powered and all the remaining ones will go into this chest but I haven't got it up to 64 just yet but if I do this put some more in because I need to get some charcoal going and that like so there we go and I've still got a stack and a stack of 16 wood which is perfect for my resources for now that will again keep feeding into there and hopefully uh, what we get there so 40 that's 50, 50, 56 there, 56, I need 7 in, eight, 7 in this one anyway, to make it so that I, you get to see, oh no, put another one in, so that you get to see that one I'll actually go into the chest once it's done, this one is, well, I'm going to go on, up 38 and 18, 48, 56, 8, 9, 10, oh, didn't mean to do that, yeah, because that chest now will open. Damn it. Oh well, I'll sort that out afterwards. I knew I'd make a mistake at some point. 37 and 18, 47, 50, no, 47, 55, 55, 11. Into there. Right, so I'll come back to these in a bit, guys, and you'll get to see that. I'm just going to show you what this is here. So this is uh, the tube for my mob farm up there, which actually isn't working for some strange reason. It's dark enough up there. Uh, it's got two layers so far, as you can see. Um, 
in each of them four corners there with the three by three area is a spawning pad and then at the back of there where the other three by three is which is just in that area uh, in each of them ones there is again another three by three spawning pad and that's the same for two layers and then just after that three by three area there down there is all water and then you've got the big long drop with a water chamber there which they fall through to reset the fall damage so that when they hit the bottom they've fallen uh, I think it's 21 blocks I think I said it for or 22 uh, and then there'll be a one or two hit kill so it accepts all mobs apart from endermen so creepers, skeletons, zombies and spiders they'll all spawn in there which is potentially but uh, from what I've heard they don't uh, they're rare to spawn in what I think maybe the issue is is that I need to put that higher up or I need to go around here and hunt the caves and really light up the whole area because that is what's going to be stopping mobs from spawning in there because they're too busy spawning in the caves around. The way I can do that, I can do it with um, a piece of TNT and a piston and a redstone block. So I put myself in the dirt, put a piston above my head, TNT, put the redstone block there, and it blocks myself, blocks me in it. And then because that TNT is in my head, it kind of glitches and you can see all around you. Um, it's kind of cool. I don't know if they've actually patched that. 1.8.4 but I know in previous versions it was able to be used but yeah guys I hope that you uh, in like the changes I've made down there because you know I did spend most best part of last night trying to get that sugarcane farm to work uh, getting the charcoal the mini charcoal bit uh, creators in there the farms and getting a bit of work done to make the area look pretty so I'm just gonna go breed cows because I've got plenty of wheat here because we need to breed them. I did kill them all yesterday. Uh, a cobble in there. There's a cobble spawn there. It's a bit bizarre. Uh, I just, as you can see, I killed quite a few. There was over 100 in here. So There's probably now only about 30. So, yeah, let's get all these cows breeding. Do the hump. Mama, do the hump. Mama, do the hump. Come on. Breed, 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 breed. Get them all breeding. Should be all now, I believe. Yep, that's all of them done. Oh, any more anywhere else? Wanna have a look? No, just all the babies. Okay. Got them all over here. Come on. Come on, babies. I don't want you anywhere near the gate. And judge through here. And there we go. So that done. See you guys. Uh I enchanted my armor as well yesterday because I got to level thirty, so I did some Reasonably, I'd say reasonable levels. Some of them were about 10 or 15. Um, these boots were actually level 8. I've done nothing to them. So I've got Protection 2, Unbreaking 1, and Feather Falling 2, all off of a level 8 enchantment, which to me is really, really, really good. I expected to get Protection, protection 2, that's all it said. And then I get Unbreaking 1 and Feather Falling 2 on it as well. These are really bad. These were level 11, and I've got Protection 1. Uh, they're protect our, Projectile Protection 3, they were level 15. And the helmet projects objects to level 12, so wasn't a bad set of armor. Uh, still got my tools as I had beforehand. Uh, my bow, and what have you? I just fixed up my bow with a, another one in the anvil. So yeah, and I went out tree chopping as well as you, as you saw. I had so much wood. Yeah, put them buttons. Put them, yeah, put them there. Put this wood in here. Yeah, I had so much wood because yesterday I had. I need. You see, the fact the problem is I need that mob farm to work. So I can get bones because the tree farm down there takes a lot of bone meal, and for it to work, to me, for me to be able to use it constantly, I need to be able to have absolutely loads of bones to make absolutely loads of bone meal. And just fighting mobs in a night isn't going to work um, because there's there's not enough skeletons and they don't always drop bones. So if you're killing 20 uh, skeletons a night, there's probably like seven percent of them that aren't going to drop. Uh, they aren't going to drop bones, so that's going to be an issue. So that's why I need to get the mob farm up and running. What I'm probably going to do is, at one point, um, I will dismantle that. Probably just before the next episode, I'll dismantle that, move it up, which I had fun doing yesterday. I died several times due to falling whilst trying to do the red uh, clay. You know, jumping between each section. That was rather fun and scary because I kept on dying. So, but hopefully I should be able to get that sorted out, fixed and working. And if that design doesn't work, 
there's always a, a design from a guy called Mumbo Jumbo, if you guys have heard of him. Um, he's a really good YouTuber. If you haven't heard of him, go check him out. Um, he does he's a lot of Redstone. He also does a, a Let's Play series. And he's got over 600,000 subscribers. So, you know, do go ahead and subscribe to him. I just wish that he would notice my videos and pick me for the best of Minecraft videos that he does. Because, you know, I think to, I hope that my content is good. Uh, I, I like to think it's, you know, it's okay. I know it's not the best. My microphone isn't the best. Uh, my setup, uh, you know, I haven't got anything that stops my voice echoing off of things. I could use pillows and blankets and stuff, but. I suppose it's just kind of too much effort to get set up and when you don't really have a lot of time for recording and stuff due to family and what have you then you kind of have to do and deal with, the, with what you've got and do the best you can so but with what I'm doing for the start uh, I hope you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and if you are don't forget do please leave me a like, a favourite and subscribe in the well just leave me a like and subscribe and also if you want me to do anything game wise uh, do let me know down in the comment section below. Um, but yeah, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as I say, again, please do leave me a like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.